Hi everyone, it's Amatica here. Um, I'm going to be making a shaker card for you today using dies and several some art girl stamps. I start by cutting my window and frame out using my dies and the white cardstock. So by doing so I get both the uh, background and the frame cut at the same time and I don't need to guess the measurements. So the background is going to be stamped with the uh, Baker May clear stamp set by Samot Girl and I am using Hero Arts Ombre ink for this. This stamp is actually discontinued, but you can find loads of the May stamps or baking stamps in the uh, Samot Girl shop. And I really like how the ombre ink makes it a slightly more colourful than just yellow. Now to add a bit more interest to the uh, background I'm using Distress Ink and my sponge applicator to create uh, like a softer yellowish background. I start with the uh, lighter ink and go all around and then I take another Distress Ink pad that is a bit more orange for even deeper look kind of makes it a bit more I know shadowy ish <laughs> I guess that's depth really now for the frame that goes on top of that that needs to be in the uh, same color and I'm using the darker ink the more orange one to make the frame a bit more stand out a bit more from the uh, yellow background. Now for the shaker card element I am using a liquid adhesive that dries matte. I prefer the matte one because I don't want the uh, glossiness to show through in case it gets smudged. So I have this clear film that I just put on top that I just press firmly all the way through and to be absolutely certain I have good coverage and no gaps or anything I like to use a clear stamp block to put some weight on top of it then I just cut around to make sure I have no clear thing is looking from the end I guess <laughs> a technical term eh and now my window is ready and I plan on filling the uh, shaker element with sequins so I'm using foam adhesive to stick the uh, frame on and I'm just putting a very narrow strip all the way through. Now I've actually cut two more pieces, one is white cardstock and the other one is a yellowish glittery cardstock that will be underneath the main image. And here you see all the uh, foam adhesive that is stuck to the uh, let's call it what a lid so nothing will seep through and I'm using the uh, some odd girl saw bait sequence for this so I'm trying to make sure I put enough and actually I put quite a lot 
maybe it should never use that many sequins but it's really hard to stop when you have all that yumminess right in front of you <laughs> so now I'll just pull the uh, backing of the uh, foam adhesive and try to fit the lid as well as I can to the uh, background of the image And again, I'm using a clear stamp block to uh, put some weight on it. Now I can shake it all around and see the image. Oh, and I forgot, I have the, uh, that yellow glitter Sakura pen. I have that. I traced the image using that pen. So the stamped image is also quite sparkly underneath. Now for the card base, I'm just using a Nina Solar White cardstock. And I'm adding a bit of interest to the uh, whole background. So I'm using three different colors of glimmer mists. One is uh, a yellow, kind of a light orangey yellow. And then I have a gold and tinsel, which is really a sparkly gray. And when I'm adding that tinsel one, I kind of notice that I need a bit more darkness to the background. So I'll be adding a black glimmer mist as well. It just gives it a bit more contrast and makes it, I don't know, unflatten, if that is possible. Now I want to make sure the background is all dry. I'm using loads of foam adhesive on the back of the uh, shaker element because I really want that to stand out. And apparently you can never use too much foam tape, as you can see. And then I just stick this to the front of the card, not quite centered, but centered ish, but making sure that I have some space for sentiment below. Now I'm using the uh, sentiment that says celebrate, and I'm just using. A black ink, a Versafine Onyx black ink, because I really like how crisp that stamps really stands out. I was thinking about adding it to uh, like a little banner and adding foam tape to it, but I thought it would be a bit too much. I already have the shaker window. So why not keep the sentiment as flat as I could? Now, sorry for my head being in the way, but I just couldn't see what I was doing. <laughs> and there you have the sentiment all stamped and ready at the bottom. So I hope you like this little project of mine. And thanks so much for watching.